didn't have Resurrection Sunday, we wouldn't yeah. be here. Amen. Yeah. If it wasn't for the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, we wouldn't have a yeah. life today. Yeah. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to celebrate like I understand what it means. Yeah. Yeah. At one point in my life, I didn't, know, I didn't understand what it meant, but today I know what it means. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's not about an Easter Bunny getting candy. Amen. 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 You may be 
seated. No cross, no resurrection. Amen. Since the beginning of time, one can go back in time and find some of the most devastating, unforgettable things that has taken place. The things that have taken place that placed an earmark in history. Things that would make you remember that terrible thing with one or two words or a date. Like for instance, COVID, mm -hmm. pandemic, yeah. amen? Yeah. Or another one is September 11, 2001, yeah. or 911, where a task commonly known as 911 in New York City when 19 terrorists hijacked four commercial airliners mid-flight. Their goal was to crash the planes into prominent American historical buildings and causing mass casualties at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you see how you can just, just a word or a date can trigger the memory. Yeah. How about George Floyd? May 25th, 2020, a 46-year-old black man was murdered in Minneapolis, Minnesota while being arrested on suspicion of using a counterfeit bill. Counterfeit bill. During, the, during this time, uh, the Derek Chauvin, the arrested, well, during his arrest, yeah by Sheriff Derek Chauvin, a white police officer knelt on Mr. Floyd's neck for over nine minutes while he was handcuffed and lying face down in the street. We were able to watch a current day lynching without the human being hanging from a tree. All right, yes, all right. So you can understand what I said, George Floyd. Yeah. Right. 911. Yeah. COVID. Yeah. These different things that we understand, uh, slavery, mm -hmm. the death of President Kennedy, mm -hmm. civil rights, yeah. all of these different things, Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. We can even go back to the Garden of Eden. Yes. And Adam and Eve ate the fruit from the tree. Mm -hmm. They were actually told not to eat the fruit, mm -hmm. but Sometimes we do just the opposite yes. yeah, of what we're told to do. Amen. Amen. Anyone guilty for that? Yeah. Somebody yeah. say, don't do something. Seem like you're, you're really going to paint the urge to really. They say, don't touch them. You're like, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I remember my grandson went through a Williams Sonoma's and and it was Christmas time, and they had everything all decorated, and I knew he would want to touch something. And I said, I said, Josiah, don't touch it. Don't touch anything. He said, Granny, look at me, because he was walking behind me, and I usually like to keep, keep the kid in front of me. He said, Granny, look at me. I have to turn around. He had both of his arms stuffed inside of his coat and had his sleeves tied down. He said, Granny, I made sure that I wouldn't touch anything. <laughs> So even the temptation, he made sure he wasn't going to touch a thing. I said, good job, baby, good job. <laughs> so you understand, you get that urge to do something. They said, don't turn. I remember one of my kids, as we told them, uh, we said, don't go uh, to uh, High Street. You know where the kids, uh, what is it, Ohio State? And the party time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't go on the campus area. Yeah. Don't do it. Right. Don't do it. Yeah. And they, they said, okay, okay. And next thing you know, we received a call. Uh, yes, I'm a friend of your your, your child. <laughs> and uh, they were so and so and so and so. And I let them talk. I'm like, this is not a friend of my child. Uh, who is this? And finally, I just said, okay, who are you? You're not a friend of my child. What's going on? And then the, 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 the young man said, okay, okay, I'm not a friend. <laughs> I'm not a friend. I'm not a friend. Well, they told me that they're not supposed to be out here on the campus area, so we came up with a story. <laughs> so we put it together so when they get home that we would go the same thing. I said, uh-huh. <laughs> so, you know, when you say don't go somewhere, you go just the opposite. Yeah. It's just a part of us. Yeah. But anyway, when you read all these things, one can see how devastating life can be. Yes. Yeah. How life can be so hard at times. Amen. And the cost to live is questionable in the, 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 the cost to live is questionable in the midst of the hard times. Right. You sometimes you don't feel like it. It makes us wonder if we can make it. Mm -hmm. And how long can we take it? Can I get an amen? Amen. amen? That's Christians and no Christians, non-Christians. That's right. You know, the Christian uh, people would like to act like everything.
everything is hunky-dory. It's not yeah. all hunky-dory. Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. We have found ourselves in different dilemmas, not knowing what to do, not knowing how it's going to turn out for, if our, for our good at all. We just didn't have any idea. Not knowing or seeing how good uh, is any good is going to come out of this hellish experience. Amen? Amen. Amen. Some of us can say that now. Amen. That's right. And some of us can say that in the, from the past. Amen. Amen. Let me name a few times, a few things for you. Things that placed an earmark in your life mm -hmm. that changed your life forever. Mm -hmm. As I said before, COVID. Mm -hmm. We all had to develop a new normal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. It could have been something silent but yet profound. Yes. In other words, no one had to know it had taken place but a few people. Mm -hmm. The reason why I say a few, because most of the time there is always someone connected to what we do, oh, yes. to the choices we make. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's look at Adam and Eve. Yeah. Probably never thought about the choice of eating from the tree would change the whole world. All right. All right. All right. They just thought about eating that uh, fruit from the tree that God told them to stay away from. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 And we have to talk to about Eve because she was part of it. Amen. 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 I can just imagine, you know, being being married on that point, baby. Right. right. That, what's, what's, so, what's so hard about that? We can right. just taste it just a little bit. <laughs> <right. laughs> you know how we can do as females? Right. Then you look at them and say, come on. <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to let Adam on. Because Adam was the lead. And he should have said no. Yeah. Right. Come on. But he didn't. So that decision changed the whole way we function today. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. How about the death of Martin Luther King? It would encourage people to put down racial barriers like never before. Amen. Encourage the black man, the white man, the red man, the brown man to come into the same building, lifting up hands and giving God praise and worshiping God together. Amen. 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 Or how about the first day you decided, or should I say me, what? to drink or get high? All right, it was going to lead us to drugs or substance and alcohol abuse, and never had an, the idea that some of us would fall into addiction. Right? Struggling with addiction because of that one time yeah. our friends told us, just try it. Yeah. We're having a good time. Mm -hmm. I can remember being at foot, a football game. They said, come on, let's drink. And I drank, I don't even know if they have that anymore. It's Mad Dog MD 2020. <laughs> <laughs> MD 2020, is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. I said, come on, let's try it, just try it. And I'm like, well, you know, I went ahead and I tried it. Before I knew it, I couldn't see, I couldn't understand why the bleachers wouldn't be steam. <laughs> and I'm trying to get away and climb over the fence. Right. And then the next time I tried something, I tried, let's get high just a little. <laughs> that was Sister Lynn, I'll tell you. <laughs> Can't buy, you can buy a bed, but you can't buy sleep. Right. Yeah. So 
So our choices and the things that we find ourselves in and the traumatic experiences that we go through may be on purpose or not on purpose, if yeah. you understand what I mean. Yeah. 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 Right. Amen. 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 So then we look at it and we have to understand, how did we get here? Amen. 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 Yes. Now I believe that even after we get saved, or accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. You know, people will tell you. I remember as a teenager, and people was the, the preacher would say, "Come on to the altar, mm -hmm. and everything will be all right." Mm -hmm. There's peace. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's joy, mm -hmm. and everything will be all right. And I thought, really, would it be all right? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Well, I finally went to the altar. Come on now. And everything was not all right. All right. All right. All right. And I didn't have peace all the time. Okay. Yeah. In other words, you will still experience disappointment. Yes. Some devastating news. Yes. And some hard blows. Yes. Things that will make you question yes. what good is going to come out of this. My God. Where is God in all this mess, this yes. devastation, these hurting situations? Where is he? Come on, right. But it takes me back to the word of God. Just before Jesus crucified, just before his crucifixion, he was talking with God in the Garden of Gethsemane. All right, all right. You can find that in Mark chapter 26. And he was asking the Father, is there any way get me out of this? Is there any way you can get me out of this? But please, not what I want. You. You do what you want, Lord. Yeah, all right. Can anybody ever experience that? Have you ever said yeah. that? Not my will, yes. but your will be done. Amen. I have found myself in different situations where I did not want to go through it. All right. I didn't want to face it, and I wish that if I went to sleep, I didn't have to wake up the next day. All right. Yeah. But I had to come to a place in my life and say, not my will. Yeah. But your will be done, Lord. Amen. 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 Now, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, starting at verse 8, it says, We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Now, there are times when you feel like you are destroyed. You get knocked down and you don't have the strength to stand up. But it says that it won't destroy you. Amen? Amen. If we're walking with the Lord. It says, through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. So you will go through something is what this scripture is saying. It's inevitable. We cannot escape from pain. We cannot escape from a disappointment. We will experience a few things. Amen. But I like the same scripture in the message translation. It says, we've been surrounded and battered by trouble. But we're not demoralized. Yeah. We're not sure. We're not sure what to do. You ever been through something like that? You didn't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I just should stay. I don't know if I should leave. I don't know what I should do. Where yeah. I should go. What I should say. Yeah. So sometimes you just have to be still. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 But it says, but we know that God knows what to do, yeah. and we have to trust that God knows uh, what to do and how, and He does all things well. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We've been spiritually terrorized. But God hasn't left our side. We've been thrown down, but we haven't broken. What they did to Jesus, they do to us. Yes, trial and torture, mockery and murder. What Jesus did among them, he does in us. He lives. Our lives are at constant risk for Jesus' sake, which makes Jesus' life the more evident in us. All right. While we're going through the worst, you're getting in on the best. All right. All right. So what I'm trying to say today is, as much as we rejoice on Resurrection Day, yeah. there could not be a resurrection celebration if it was not a devastating crucifixion. My God. Amen? Yeah. Amen? If there was no cross, there would be no resurrection. Yeah. 
Luke chapter 9, we can read as it continues, says, it is necessary, this is Jesus talking to him, it is necessary that the Son of Man proceed to an ordeal suffering, be tried and found guilty by the religious leaders, high priests, and religious scholars, be killed, and on the third day be raised up alive. Yes. All right. So when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he knew what was going to take place. Yes. And right. he said, Lord God, he said, Father, if there's any way we can avoid this, yeah. mm -hmm. I, I, can we just do something else? Can we still get the thing accomplished without me going through the pain? And sometimes we have to ask ourselves that, is there any way that we can avoid what we're going through? Yeah. But the Lord said, not my will, your will be done. So then Jesus went on to tell, he told them what they would expect for themselves. He said, anyone who intends to come with me has to be led. All right. You're All right. not in the driver's seat. I am. All right. All right. Don't run from suffering. Embrace it. All right. All right. Follow me and I'll show you how. Self-help is no help at all. All right. Self-sacrifice is the way, my way, right. to finding yourself, your true self. Amen. What good would it do to get everything you want and lose the real you? Oh my God. Amen. See, the key is we have to understand this is not about us. Yes. It is about him. All right. And what he did for us is why we're here today. Right. Now, if Jesus, who was God in the flesh, had to submit to dying on the cross to experience a great victory, how much more do we have to be able to say, yes, Lord, have it your way. Amen. 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 None of us want to experience the cross, but all of us want to experience the resurrection. Amen. Can I get amen? amen. I don't want to go through anything. If you had surgery, anyone ever had surgery, if you had a baby, if you had some kind of surgery, you know that it's painful and it hurts. And it takes a process for you to be healed. Yeah. And, but the thing is, eventually you will be healed. Yeah. So you have to go through the pain in order to get through the, the healing. Yeah. You have to go to the cross. That means the different things you have to experience in this life in order to be able to stand before the Lord and hear, well done. There are some things that we will experience because without the cross, you will not experience resurrection. Amen? Amen. Amen. None of us want to experience the cross, but all of us want to experience resurrection. Amen? Amen. Amen. Look at somebody and say, no cross, no, cross. no, resurrection. no resurrection. Tell somebody else, say, no cross, no, cross. no, resurrection. no resurrection. What we have to understand is when these earmarks in time come, that's before and after our salvation. God will take those things and use them as a representation of your deliverance, your healing, your salvation, your restoration, your peace. You're truly experiencing his love and his mercy. God will use those things while you go on the cross and make them turn around for your good. Amen? Amen. So that thing that you went through and you thought that that man left you or that woman left you, that you would not survive it, you found out that not only did you survive, but you're doing quite well without them. Yeah. Or you yeah. remember the time when you didn't have a job and you didn't know where you were going to get your next food and how it was going to come in, but somehow the Lord made a way. Or maybe that man, that daddy walked away from you and you don't have the daddy that you desire. But God said, I'm your daddy, I'll be your daddy, and you don't need another daddy like me. And there are some times that you were raised in some different situations, and you thought, now how am I going to live through this? But God said, I'll use it for my glory if you allow me at the end of the story. You might not be experiencing the things that you desire, but if you walk in this thing and stay with it a while, God will turn it around, and you will experience the resurrection. What we have to understand is we be may endure for a night, yes, yes. but joy will come in yes. the morning. Yes. It's time to let those earmarks in time, those devastating situations, those experiences you don't know how it, how it was going to turn out or when it was going to quit. If you allow God to have his way, yes. it will work out for your good. Yes. It doesn't always feel good, and it doesn't always seem good, but it will be good for you at the end of the story. Amen. 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 I don't know about you, but I've, I've been living long enough now to understand that there are things that you wish you did not have to go through. Yes. But if you yes. stay with the Lord, I'd rather go through it with him yes. than Amen. without him. Amen. 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 Yes. See them as your cross, and remember, in three days, he got up. Yes. Oh, when Jesus died, he got up. He told him, I'm going to get up 
within three days. And that's what we have to understand. What you are going through is temporary. Amen. It is not going to last always. Right. Trouble doesn't yeah. last always right. if we learn how to trust God. Right. Amen? Yeah. So there might be a time that you might be crying, and there might be a time yeah. that you yeah. didn't understand. And you might understand some things, but you said, but I don't understand this yeah. part here. But when you look back, you got a full picture. Ooh. Jesus, it will teach you how to let go of 
things and forgive others. If you go through Jesus, it will teach you how to look up and not try to figure it out yourself. Doing it as the scripture said, trying to practice self-help. You can't do this by yourself. You have to do it with Jesus. You have to do it through him. You have to do it through the word. That's the only way you can do it. I tried it any other, so many different ways. I tried it with men and it didn't work. I tried having money, but it didn't work. I tried to have different things and try to look good, but it didn't work. What I found out was I needed Jesus. It's not a smile to try to impress somebody. It's not about a car or a place that I'm invited to. It's about Jesus. It's about knowing him as my Lord and my Savior. And if I understand that, then I can go to the cross and remember that there will be a resurrection. No one, no one can avoid the cross. We all have crosses to bear. Yeah, but the key is that we can bear the cross, yeah. knowing that there is a victory at the end. Amen? Amen. You don't have to go through this by yourself. Yeah. Yes, you will experience some devastation experiences. You will go through some traumatic things that you have to deal with. Yeah. But if you trust Jesus, yeah. if you know that God is your Lord and your Savior, yeah. it will be okay. Amen? Yeah. Look at somebody say, no cross. No, no, cross. no resurrection. No cross. No, cross. no, cross. no resurrection. No resurrection. That, that, that suffering that you had to go through is the cross, but there is a resurrection. Yeah. That sickness that you dealt with is a cross, but there will be a healing. Yeah. No one wants to hear devastating diagnosis, but God said, I'm a healer. Yeah. If I have the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. No one wants to hear someone say that we are done and we can't go through this anymore. Yeah. So you go your way and I'll go my way. I can remember I'm married to Jesus, so it's going to be okay. Right. The thing is that you have to understand if the job says, I'm going to let you go, then you give God some praise in the midst of it because, Lord, you must have something better for me. This job was not for me. You have something else for me. So I'm going to give you praise and I'm going to trust you through it. In the meantime, I'm going to give you praise like I already received that you already have said. By the time you get here, I'm going to give you some much praise. And by the time I get here, I'll already be used to it. No resurrection. No pain. No healing. Amen. I like that one too, Brother Angelo. No pain. Okay. You want to go through something. Amen. If you go to the dentist, you're going to experience pain. But you're going to go through the pain in order to be healed. But if you go through something that you keep running into because you're hard-headed and you don't want to listen, then you're causing yourself harm. Right. Or if you allow someone to keep taking advantage of you and abusing you and, mis and abusing you, then that's harm. Yeah. That's not any pain. That's not something that's going to help you. Right. That's to harm you and to destroy you. Right. But God said, if you go through suffering for my sake, right. and you have no mind stayed on me, yeah. then whatever you go through will become a healing, will become a deliverance, will become joy. Where there's sorrow, there will become joy. Where there's pain, there will become gain. The key is you have to understand that no cross, no cross, no resurrection. No Amen.
disobedience. Yes. Yes. So if you don't recompense into any disobedience, you're supposed to walk up right. Yes. When you're faithful, then God will turn everything else around. Amen. Yes. Yes. But the thing is, what you have to understand, the message of today is no cross, no, cross. no resurrection. No resurrection. It's spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, socially. If you are attacked spiritually and you don't know if you're supposed to be saved or you're trying to be saved and you're having a battle walking with the Lord, no cross. No resurrection. You're going to go through a few things. Yeah. And spiritually, mentally, if you go through some things mentally and it's a war, the battleground is in your mind. Yeah. And it's tormenting you and it's trying to remind you of your past or telling you what's going on or how you think it should be or how it shouldn't be. And the devil will use first person. Yeah. I'm no good. I've never been no good. I'm always doing things wrong. But you have to understand, tell the devil, shut up. Yeah. This too shall pass. God didn't make junk. I am a, I'm a special person. God had a plan and a purpose for me. And I refuse you to allow me to torment me. Anxiety and fear, I speak to you and curse you at your roots. And I command you to go from me. God did not make any joke. I don't have to be perfect. God is perfect. I don't have to try to do everything right. I can't do everything right. Yes, Amen. Yes. No cross. No cross. No resurrection. No resurrection. No resurrection. 